Okay, hi, here we go again. What I wanted to show you now is another tropical fruit most of us probably know already, and it's the star fruit. The correct name is Carambola. So Carambolas are also grown in tropical and subtropical areas. Most of us know it because it's also very decorative and we like to use it in restaurants. And this is how the bush looks like. I mean, I just got told this one get more sweet, so I took some from this bush. But let's go over to the other tree, so you see a little bit more. So yeah, this is the tree. Here you have the fruits. And as you can see, the fruits are quite well um, camouflaged within the tree. I mean, now when they get yellow, let's have a look up here. I hope you can see it. There, it's all full. When they get yellow, you can see them. But while they are green, they are really hard to see. So yeah, let's talk about the fruit itself now. Obviously, it's a star. That's why it's called star fruit. Again, the original name is Carambola. You can see the tree right behind me here. And uh, yeah, what most people probably don't know is that the Carambola is a little bit toxic. It got a toxic acid in it. So people with liver and kidney problems should not eat it or should not eat too much of it. So when you eat it, this one is quite, it's not hard, but it's not too soft already. I got me one already of the sweet ones. Mm got a waxy skin which is eatable i eat it as you see just right like this mm. and the inside it's yeah almost fiberless it reminds on the inside of a grape actually so you can eat the whole fruit and it's um yeah sweet sour even the sweet ones like carambola tend to not have more but four percent percent of sugar some might have six but um yeah so it's a very watery still sweet and touch of sour fruit very decorative and it's growing here like everywhere so see you next time i'm going to finish this now mm, juicy so yeah and when we're here on the yard already i would like to show you like this is a field for flowers i mean for flowers normal flowers but the lack of um, period and time change makes them here growing the flowers for big flowers with light as well so they support the flowering and growing of the plants as well with light control even on an open field like here i think that's just interesting to know <laughs>